Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net. At Jewelers Mutual, we're a little obsessed with jewelry. Obsessed like auctioneers with talking fast. 50, we're going to Pop stars with auto tune. Yeah, 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 yeah. And dentists with asking questions. So, how did he propose? After they've put their you hands in your mouth. What? Great. Yes, we've made jewelry our obsession for over 100 years. We love it so much, we named our kids Ruby, Amber, and Opal. Venti soy latte for Opal? At Jewelers Mutual, we insure jewelry and only jewelry. Which is why people who are also obsessed with jewelry trust us with theirs. A different future starts with you. That's why GoDaddy does more than help you find a name. You can create, sell, and get found online so any small business can drive change or build an empire. Because old ideas aren't cutting it anymore. This new year, we need a new generation of thinking, your way of thinking. So whatever you have in mind that will help make a different future, find everything you need to get started at GoDaddy.com. Because the future isn't decided yet. It's still ours to win. Start different at GoDaddy.com. It's the Weedsman Podcast Nugget. Is it pretty what? Ready to drop the bass? Let's drop the birds. whoop de doo What does it all mean? All the random stuff that didn't fit in Friday's show you'll find here. Oh. Okay. Hey, man. You got a joint? Put a little bit of reflux smell on your boot. What'd that mean? Please, give me, just give me a weed, all right? I mean... I'm not not a buffet guy. I don't like go places and go like, oh, I'm going to go there because they have a buffet. I don't get excited if they do have a buffet when I show up. It is not. No, I had a my friend Eric took me to a Golden Corral one time. He loves that place, and I was. Uh, I used to love it. Not that impressed. Right. As much as you want. And that's the thing. Yeah. That's that's like the only catch is like, yeah, hey, just eat whatever you want. Missed all that hot buffet talk <laughs> intro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, buffets are just, they are what they are. I'm not necessarily, like, I don't try to avoid them. I don't go out of my way to hit them. Yeah. So, like, if you're not rounding up the kids and heading to Golden Corral? No. Never, I, don't think, yeah, I don't think I'll ever go back to a Golden <laughs> Corral. Not unless I'm, like, forced to. Like, I used to go know, to it with Rob thing. all the time. Like, we get super stoned and go to Golden Corral. Yeah. See how much we could eat. Standing in line with a bunch of families and us two stoners ringing a weed. <laughs> but I bring up the buffet because I think the buffet got me. Oh, you um, got you got hit by yeah, that. Yeah, we're recording a day later than we usually record. Because Friday, it, it it had to be it's Whole Foods. I'm looking for you. All right, don't let me catch you in the dark alley. Because you know I. I work downtown Detroit. Wait, Whole Foods like do they have a cafeteria area? Yeah, or? they got a they got a buffet area with salad oh. bar and hot food and a soup bar. I thought maybe they had like a kind of buffet style like at Kroger where you can just get bulk stuff and and it was kind of self serve, but you were just getting like something to take home. But yeah, you're but actually, it was, it was hot food. But it's you're like eating whole, it there, or you were taking it back? Yeah, taking it, you know, I take it. I eat it in my car, right? But you know, but they they had it out so you could serve yourself. Yes, I go I go there for lunch regularly. I work downtown Detroit. There's a Whole oh. Foods there. I try to okay. I, I try to that. stay away from the McDonald's and the Checkers. I end up more there more than I like to admit. Right. Well, I mean, you would think that would be the better. I, I guess long term for your health, it's probably the better option. I've been to Whole Foods so much. I know the soup rotation. Short term, obviously, it's always it was, veggie bean chili. Yeah, chicken noodle soup. Uh, recently, so, breakfast polenta has showed up. Breakfast polenta. I don't even yeah. know what that. Oh, what does that mean? White what? people probably eat to feel ethnic. What is a polenta? Uh, from what I gathered, when I had polenta in Portland, it's like shitty oatmeal. It's oh, it's polenta with like a O. Oh. It's a dish of boiled cornmeal that was historically made from other grains, other grains as opposed yeah. to like what? Oh, uh, it's fa- so was fancy name for grits. Right, that was historically made from other grains. Oh, so it's made with cornmeal now, and they mm-hmm. used to do it with other. I get you. Yeah, I go there Friday. Go to get the veggie chili. That's what I usually get. Every now and then, get the chicken noodle. Every now and then, though, I pull the grift because they'll oh, have oh. they'll have stew in the hot bar. Where uh-huh. The food is supposed to be weighed by the pound, but I'll right. put the stew in the soup container where it's just you're charged by the size. Oh, so every now and then, when they have out, the, like I said, I pull the grift. I get the hot bar food. For the price of the soup. <laughs> I didn't do that this time. 
But hey, it's their fault. It's liquid. It fits in the soup container. You're bad. You should have thought this through, Whole Foods. Right. Uh, but yeah, so I go to the veggie bean chili. Lid's already up. Uh, like there's some true. already on, and there's some like on the outside of the, you know, splashed on the counter. Right. Somebody did a sloppy serve and, and then didn't clean up. Yeah, and then it's open, and I'm like, ah, fuck it, it's Friday. I stir it up. <laughs> it's, it's Friday. Like, what? yeah. Germs don't like to be active on Friday. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Their, that's their day off. I heard. <laughs> yes. And then just get, they have a lazy Friday. I eat my lunch. Everything's cool, and at about 3 o'clock, I just want to die, dude. Yeah. By 3 o'clock, I get that feeling where it's like to move your arm. You feel like you need to take your other arm to pick it up. <laughs> yeah. Like, we, we all know that feeling where all your strength is just but, gone. You sure was it a stroke? I know, right? <laughs> well, no, and all I wanted to do was like just lay down and right, you know, right. just like slowly back out of my cube and but just it, slowly lay down. But it was the soup that got you. Like, how common is that? Well, it's just it, it's Doesn't food it, poisoning. It's just it, pro- it probably sat out. Not right. in the and not it probably sat out outside or in the temperature danger zone, you know, right. probably below one thirty five. But don't I mean that's the thing though. Don't they usually have like a consistent temperature? I can understand putting some fish out or something and it like gets to. A well, no, there's a reason I don't get the hot bar because I look at all that food. A lot of skin on that oh. food. You know what I'm talking about when food sits. Right. Right. You know, it's the reason why, since I learned how to handle food, I don't do the Chinese buffet. I just look at it and I go, no. But the skin tells you that it's been sitting it's been for sitting a certain for a period yeah. and that it's probably reached that. Yeah, it's not. That, yeah. Its shelf life has been reached and exceeded quite some time ago. Yeah. So, yeah, and I got home from work on Friday and, it, you know, getting to bed, it's like I'm cold, but... I can't get, but oh, all yeah. I want to do is be warm. I hate that but I can't, shit. We all know the feeling. Yeah. And yeah, man, and it just woke up yesterday and I was still like, yeah, we're not at 100%. If I took a good shit, <laughs> got rid of the <laughs> yeah. offending virus and we're back yeah. to normal. All right. Fucking buffets, man. I used to love them. And got betrayed by the buffet. I think the only buffet that I went to on a semi-regular basis and even that wasn't that often but the chinese buffet oh yeah once i got a food handler's card that was the first thing like off the list you think that's the worst uh, watching oh yeah chinese they, no, they don't they don't do shit <laughs> i'm sure if the, the independent places they don't do <laughs> oh, <yeah>. shit <laughs> that was like i had a, a boss that used to come and visit me when i uh worked out in kalamazoo and every time he come to town he's like let's hit up the chinese buffet <laughs> Like, all right. Never got stung by that place. Yeah, like, I'm feeling like, lucky. Well, uh, Chinese is Chinese buffet is kind of a novelty because you don't always get to sample everything. Unless you're, like, ordering with a big group of people and you're just like, just get a pint of, like, all this stuff. Yeah. You know, you get one dish and it's, like, more than you can eat of, like, sweet and sour and you end up saving some of it. And you, mm-hmm. don't, get the, you don't get to do the little taste test. Check out all the wares. But the, yeah, the last buffet that I went to, it wasn't even really a buffet, but uh, my new boss likes to take us to the Texas, what do they call it? The Texas uh, barbecue place? No, I mean uh, Br- uh, Brazil. No. Brazilian barbecue? Brazilian barbecue. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. That sounds fancier than <laughs> Texas barbecue. Yeah. No, the one where they, they bring the meats on the skewer around and they just shave it off yeah, right there Brazilian for barbecue. you. Yeah, Yeah. And they they have a buffet to get like your salad and mm-hmm. well I guess it's just a salad bar, but they have like so much other shit on there you know there's shrimp and and whatnot which I that's one thing I can't eat anymore and I certainly will not eat from a buffet is really seafood but oh man that's, that's crustaceans one of the worst ideas ever yeah crustaceans though I think they're just out completely like I can they've got too many legs I can't eat things with more than four legs. <laughs> Right, I mean, what do we eat that has more than four? See, legs I'm not into I'm not into seafood, so I'll agree with you with every part yeah. of the conversation. You like, just I'll, like eat, completely... I'll eat the fish stick. Yeah, but it's like some nice salmon or like it's some. Well, tuna I mean, not, my favorite sub from Subway is a tuna sub, but okay, I mean, so, yeah. like, but but sushi I'm not ordering and, and the, the, no no po- no thank you oysters. Nope. Yeah, tried them. What tried what them when I worked in New England? Oysters and clams, like people eat that shit. Like, I don't get it. I tried oysters and they I, swallow it. When I worked in New England, yeah, the, you're, the, the, like, you're not supposed to chew it. You're supposed to shoot it. What's like the it's fucking a drink. point? What's the fucking point? <laughs> That's what they do in New England. 
It's probably half of that is just shooting out of me, like not even being digested. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they do it in, in uh, California, too. The ocean, ocean towns. I mean, I can understand being adaptable humans and, you know, finding food in different sources, depending on what, you, what climate you live in. But, you know, this is 2019 and you don't have to eat clams. <laughs> oh, people love it. But it's an event in New England. Oh, yeah. People go clam digging. You think that's part of it is that they just have this whole culture around that? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Because yeah. really, I mean... A lot of seashore culture. They, like, probably throw some shit on that clam to, like, spice it up a little bit or give it some taste, right? Clam cakes, clam chowder. Oh, no, yeah. crab cakes. Well, I think clam cakes are a thing, too. Now, <laughs> clam chowder clam is good. I yeah, did, clam I, chowder is not cause, bad, Because yeah. I don't like stuff that tastes fishy, and I had clam chowder. I was like, oh, this shit doesn't taste fishy yeah. at all. Clam chowder is not bad. But then every once in a while you get that really rubbery piece of like clam. <laughs> You're like, yeah. what the fuck is this? Is this his foot? I'm eating his foot right now. Yeah, is this clam dick? <laughs> right. Okay, this is the only part of the clam that ever left the shell. <laughs> yeah. That little weird little tongue foot yeah. that they have. Little weird black tongue. <laughs> and yet I, I eat sushi from Kroger all the time. So whatever. You know, we don't make sense as humans. The, the habits that we have, or our eating habits, yeah, don't make looks, sense at all. And the things that we find gross make no sense. Like, but it, it looks like they pay attention to food handling there. It does, yeah. I've never had an issue with it. You know, they've got guys there daily making the stuff. Like, and also... Nothing to do with sushi, like, as a whole. It, right. And this isn't even real sushi. Half of it is, like, imitation crab stuff and vegetable rolls and stuff like that that you don't even have to worry about it and the other half is cooked they serve up it tastes still like like raw fish but they i guess heat it enough to like kill anything and probably give it a, a longer shelf life can't fucking do this anymore can't do what anymore? I think there's something with this movie. There's cultural appropriation. You can't do something with the, the, like you can't play this song or something. <laughs> this song? You know, like I it's think, about fish. I think because the guy wasn't really Jamaican that sang it. No, I think you're thinking of the other big song that Sebastian sings in this movie. It's "Kiss the Girl." Oh yeah, that's right. That's that, yeah, that's right. Yes. She did not because he's consent. saying you just have to do it. You just have to go and kiss her, and like she didn't give consent. She can't talk. That's worse. Like I don't, I don't buy into these arguments that are like she wanted it. Like people get wrapped up in like all this Me Too movement, and then they're like, oh well, then I'm just I guess so. Women just gonna have to make the moves. Like those aren't your two choices, idiot. There's there's plenty of gray area in between. But fuck you, because most women want you to make that move, right? It's you're making the move based on something. You know, it, the move isn't I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. Yes. But to, like, if you like, follow the story, you, A, she can't talk, B, she wanted it. Uh, and I'm not saying that. Like she she made the deal to get the legs so she think, could right. fall in love with the guy. And think about what happens every time a guy in a movie asks a girl if she if he can kiss her, she goes, "You never ask, right? You're not supposed to ask. Yeah. It spoils the mood." It's a '90s comedy. Everybody knows that's a '90s these, rom-com. It spoils me. the mood. It makes it awkward, right? Now, hopefully, you're emotionally intelligent enough to know that you know she's playing with her hair, she's touching you, she's making lots of eye contact, she is coming on to you, right? She's giving signals. Yeah. It's like. Maybe this is, we just stop paying attention to these signals, right? And getting too caught up in the language. But yeah, this is like too forward. Well, turns out Prince Eric is a rapist. Hey, <laughs> he's. I can understand the lyrics are like, if she don't want it too bad, tell the bitch to shut up. You yeah. gonna kiss that girl? Yeah, kiss this dick. <laughs> if she don't want to kiss you a lips, 
Then she's gonna kiss your dick. <laughs> so I'm making my way through the Americans. I'm like halfway through season two. And I'm watching this show. And there's a lot of sex in this. And uh, quite a lot of butts. It's like... Yeah, Felicity grew up. Oh, yeah. Oh, did this? <laughs> there's a scene where, where uh, the two leads are in their room, and their daughter is a teenager, right? And she's suspicious. Her parents are always sneaking around, whispering, what are they up to, right? And she thinks they're gone, but she hears something in the bedroom, so she just goes in, and she sees them 69. And <laughs> ha! Whoops. Yeah. Of all the things that you could see your parents do, I mean, I'm, yes, there are worse, but that's like the worst of in the normal, quote-unquote, realm, right? Yeah. Not getting kinky, like... Dressing up in leather, and that could have been like a like one. That. that could have been like a special time, you know, or, a once right. every six months thing. It's now dogs just see like, I think they do all the time, <laughs> right? That's how she. Like, is that how babies are made? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, so there's a, a lot of sex in it, and I'm watching this, and I'm just thinking, like, man, I need to be a secret agent, right? Like, they're getting <laughs> all the pussy. What well, didn't James Bond teach you that? Well, yeah, but. This isn't like that. This isn't glamorizing that. Well, I mean, it it is. It's a TV show. It is glamorized to some respect. But you know, how many people does James Bond kill in an average movie? And yet, does he ever give any indication at the end of the movie that he feels bad or messed up or anything about the people that he killed in that movie? Right? No, because he's getting tons of ass. (laughs) Well, right, right. But this is this is set a little more in reality where people are, you know, they have these complicated lives that fuck them up, you know? And, uh, you know, on top of all, like, the, the cultural things of, you know, these people are spies for Russia, and they live this really great American life. You know, they've got the dream. They've got a great job. They get to travel, I guess, although it's always for business. <laughs> yeah. It's always to kill somebody or kidnap somebody. Well, it's technically their business. <laughs> right, it's, it's business. But, you know, they're, they're enjoying the American lifestyle. You know, it even comes out in, in an episode in season two where the dad buys a car. He buys a, a Camaro. And I'm like, oh, they're going to have this episode. Like, dad buys the sports car and then mom's all mad. <laughs> but... It works because... Well, they have to keep up appearances. Well, but, but, but why is she mad, right? She's mad not because he spent too much money or anything like this. Like, oh, you're really like... You're liking it here too much, right? <laughs> like, yeah. being in America and being a spy is our job, and you are liking it too much. And he kind of shoots back with like, what? Tell me you don't enjoy it. Look at all the clothes and the nice house that you have and the, the life that you enjoy. You would be inhuman to not just enjoy that. It's just badass. I'm going to drive this Camaro that the Russian government paid for. But anyway, why was I talking about oh the all the sex in the Americans, right? So by the time I'm getting halfway through season two, I'm realizing that, like, yeah, there's a lot of sex, but none of the people who are fucking on a regular basis in this show are telling the truth to one another about anything else. Right? That's like... They're all just an elaborate ruse for everyone to get laid. Hey, everyone's using somebody else for something. You know, they're using they're using sex and emotion to as a means to an end, and some of them to to cover up the the fucked up life that they live to help uh, some patch that up, get some strange, and that too. Yeah, but yeah, it's certainly they're not healthy relationships. Ooh, what's that? It's a nice three hundred three theme. It's Moby. Oh, this is the Moby James Bond theme. Oh, jeez. But see, then he's got to, like, open up that filter so screechy and put in some, you know, like, retread yeah, break beats. Definitely and 90s like, electronic music. Yeah. did Mo- Moby sold off a bunch of his shit. Like, I think he sold off his drum machines or some shit. Probably finally went completely... Well, who doesn't? Like... With the quality of digital and the waning quality of these analog instruments that were made decades ago, yeah, you know they're, they're needing to be repaired and tuned. Even 
and uh, you know they're drifting, bad pots, all that shit. Like they pro- most artists probably never touch that. You know that's what I would do. Like I might have some vintage equipment if I was making you know lots of techno music. Mm-hmm. I would probably have some vintage equipment on hand to make my studio look good. Yeah, but I'd probably do most of my composing with all digital instruments. And yeah. even then, if you find like you know what that that Moog emulator really isn't isn't doing it. Just patch it out to the real Moog and, and overdub it. But anyway. Why was you can always fix it in post. Techno is like all post, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. all it is. <laughs> Live post. Techno is like if you made a movie but didn't film anything. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> 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 yeah, just using other people's footage. Right. <laughs> it's, all, it's all stock footage. A different future starts with you. That's why GoDaddy does more than help you find a name. You can create, sell, and get found online so any small business can drive change or build an empire. Because old ideas aren't cutting it anymore. This new year, we need a new generation of thinking, your way of thinking. So whatever you have in mind that will help make a different future, find everything you need to get started at GoDaddy.com. Because the future isn't decided yet. It's still ours to win. Start different at GoDaddy.com. Hey, it's your home, and I need to ask you a few favors. In the kitchen, there's a spider stuck between the window and the screen, and I know it's dead, and technically it's outside, but it's still freaking me out. Can you flick it out or something? Also, just to save some money and it's super easy, could you bundle your home and car insurance with Geico? Last thing, could you take the holiday decorations down? Yeah, I'm one of those. Geico. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com today. Hello? Hi, I'm calling on behalf of the Mice Nest. Mice Nest? Yes, Mice Nest. It's a nest of mice. They finished chewing through your RV wiring, so the fire should start soon. Uh, can we cancel that? Oh, sorry. Once scheduled, they can't really stop because they're mice. A nest of them. RV owners can't schedule when things go wrong on the road. That's why there's Progressive, a leader in RV insurance. Oh, and if you could stay on the line for a quick survey. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. The Weedsman Podcast. ChristopherMedia.net. ChristopherMedia.net. The Weedsman Podcast. I sent you a link for this because it's not that I'm surprised that this existed, but it seems to be doing well as well. There's a blog for cereal reviews. Like milk and a spoon cereal? As a like as opposed to like grains and stuff. Like reviewing what else would it be? Serial, uh, Seri- serial oh. murderers. Oh, yeah. It's Could, a podcast called Serial. Right. Yeah, that's true. It's also true. A good point. Could be a number of things. Now, this is uh, cereal with a C about overly sugared bits of rice and grain that we uh, throw in milk. But why do you need a blog for cereal reviews? I do not need a blog for cereal reviews. <laughs> well, <laughs> blog for everything else. If I'm going to buy, if I'm going to spend $100 or more on something like, say, a new pair of headphones, I'll probably read some reviews, right? Because I'm going to make one purchase that I hope will last a long time, and it's a fairly high dollar amount. Where's the advantage of... Oh, shit. If you go to... the of these? And what's that? Are you looking at the, uh, the host of cereals? Yeah. Right. Okay, so if you would, if you went to the store and they had Honey Bun... And donuts, donuts, I'm sorry, not donuts, donuts, uh, powdered mini donuts, Hostess brand cereal. Yes. And you, and you wondered what it would it tasted like. Wouldn't you just put it in your cart and take it home and taste it, right? Yes. <laughs> you wouldn't get online and be like, well, let me read the reviews on this cereal first. Yeah. Should I waste my time? <laughs> but... Oh, the honey bun cereal. Absolutely. Really? Th- both of those look disgusting to me. The honey one, yes. The donuts? Mm. I've. Maybe. If they made the chocolate ones. Cereal is a rarity for me. Uh, large amounts of milk ingestion oh, is a rarity for coming me. Coming up, this is my go to food when I was high. Still yeah. live in my parents' house. Oh, I'm I've. Like two in the morning. Oh, yeah, I've been there. Yeah, as a bachelor, as a high on. Eat yeah. half a box of cinnamon nose crunch before you go to bed. Yeah. Straight up, but I would I would have to have it with milk. So I was drinking way too much milk. Um, 
Oh, yeah, not, not so much on this one, huh? I don't this, know how I feel about this one. The Sour Patch Kids? Maybe. Like, I, my interesting thing, like, Sour Fruit Loops? Is that what, what that would taste right. like? I'm, I understand what they're going for, because this is probably just, again, some puffed up rice that's yeah. doused in sugar. But the product that you're basing that off of has sour yeah, in the name. I've never been eating really those. With, this would be a great cereal. Right. Also, not like if you were if you were high and had some donuts and you dropped it in a bowl of milk, you'd probably still eat it, right? You're like, oh, it's like it's not my plan for breakfast, but all right. This next one is like, but like if you had Sour Patch Kids and you dropped them, you're like, I just ruined my Sour Patch Kids in my milk. Exactly. This next one is like, you know, they talk about if you had a time machine, would you go back and kill baby Hitler? Oh. This, ne- this next cereal <laughs> should be stopped. Oh, what? They have the whole... Oh, they uh, have Peeps <laughs> Coffee Creamer? Gross! Yeah, they've got the whole brand there. I've never understood why people like this, this Limited shit. edition, too. Right. <laughs> the Peeps. The, I, apparently, they sell, and everyone claims to My not like them. My dad fucking loved them shits. Everyone claims to not like them, but you know people eat them. Like, like every Easter. They keep making them. You're like, oh, these are gross. And Dad like, I'll take them. And then you'd eat them. No. Absolute, absolutely not. So that's coming in this year for this Easter. Great. Part of his uh, the blog review here is, uh, if you recall, the last big peep release we got is the Oreos, which I did not like very much. Were there, there were Oreo, I'm not following this, like Oreos that had peep marshmallow probably in them, right? Not the opposite. For some reason, I thought the opposite first. They were like black and white peeps, but that doesn't make much sense, does it? Or they had or they had peep Oreos, right? Not Oreo peeps. Yes, Boom. yes. Oh, there you go. Yep. And it's the gross vanilla Oreo too. It's not even the chocolate Oreo. Come on, that's like two strikes. Yeah, right. I'm not eating that cookie. Is also, it? that's another thing why I don't get a whole blog for this because. If I was, if somebody like hired me and my job was to review cereals online, I'm like, all right, uh, this one was gross. I'm not eating that again. I'd eat that one if I was high. Yeah. Um, you know what? What can you really say? What well, What can they say? Trust me. I'm not saying that. Like this is, these aren't people are essays. probably going to like masturbate with that creamer as lube. Let's see. There's a here's a pop tart cereal. What's he got to say about the pop tart cereal? Didn't they have this? Oh wait, shit there's a whole when we were. Reading kids but in a different form pop tart cereal no i'm not like i remember i mean they could tiny but... little like they were they look like tiny little frosted pop tarts really like, like i said it was in a different form like these seem to look like little shredded wheat that's what it that looks stuffed like stuff with shit no and i seem to remember like they they look like little frosted hold on let's google so that's basically what it is right it's shredded wheat with brown sugar and cinnamon in there that's uh, that's promising. Pop tarts, bites, and crisps all already wowed me, so I'm entering this first of the year review with an enthusiastic resolve. This is all so far. All these reviews for the, are from this year. This guy's doing this on like a daily basis. How do you keep the content up? Well, I was half right. It was still the same concept, but they did try it before. Pop tarts crunch. Yes. Yeah, I don't remember ever having that. Looks the same, like the same type of thing. I mean, I try them because Pop Tarts, like Pop Tarts is breakfast, right? You're supposed to get Pop Tarts for breakfast. <laughs> but you never thought, hey, let me break this up, put in a bowl, and pour some milk on it. His New Year's resolution essentially is to eat more shape shifting pastries than last year in more forms than ever before. What? What does that mean, shape shifting pastries? What? After all, Pop Tart cereal is the most post internet killing the video star descendant of Pop Tarts crunch. Pop Tarts Crunch, a cereal remembered with near universal fondness. What could go wrong? Apparently, some. Some could go wrong. <laughs> what? <laughs> some could go wrong? All right. This is, well, unreadable, even if I was interested in the topic. Okay. I figured we'd be stumbling upon some sort of uh, best of cinnamon toast crunch churros. I mean, it's the same cereal, right? Yeah. It kind of looks the same, doesn't it? It's just got a different it's shape. It's just in the shape of a dough, dough dick. A dough dick. <laughs> is that the, 
I think it's called the dodecahedron. A dodecahedron. Frosted mini wheat oh, fruit medley. I mean, this. Uh, I don't know. Mm. Wait, check out his. Do you see the uh, top five cereal products of 2018? What's his blog's name? Cerealously. Cereal. Cerealously. Yeah, that is hard to say, huh? I didn't actually say it out loud. Cerealously. You just passed it. This is the first one. Isn't even a cereal. Number five is Pop Tarts, strawberry cheesecake splits. Why they? They did Pop Tarts that were flip one flavor on one side and another flavor on the other. I'm into that. I think that's. Uh, I am into that. Certainly not if one side's going to be frosted strawberry and the other's drizzled cheesecake. Well, you don't like strawberry cheesecake? That's what they're trying to do. I like regular cheesecake. But it usually comes with strawberries on it. But I don't want a cheesecake pop tart either. Yeah, bitch. I'm into this one too. Now, this is an actual cereal Snickerdoodle cookies. Oh, Snickerdoodles are so good. Why is cookies with a K? Because cookies. Racism. It's Snickerdoodle cookies. Dusted with sugar and cinnamon. Oh, I. It's generously dusted, I'm sure. It's like cookie crisp and cinnamon toast crunch. Fucked. Right. I'm into this cereal. I like how it's sweetened corn cereal, dusted with sugar and cinnamon, but up at the top, it has that, this label that says... Essential goodness. Essential goodness. <laughs> Nothing about this cereal is essential. And then underneath it, nor it says... goodness. No artificial flavors, high fructose corn syrup. No... Cert- Certified synthetic colors. Yeah, it's all real sugar. But all you really see is here. essential goodness. No, no, this is not essential goodness. Yeah, nothing essential nor goodness. It, really, cereal is the least essential cere- the least of, uh, essential food. See, now this next one. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. Because breakfast isn't really that important in general. Oh, I know some people that would disagree with you. And. Cereal is like probably the worst breakfast. Like I'm not against cereal, but cereal's a snack to me. It's just bowl of carbs. Yeah, I might have it. You know, maybe in in place of a you know any kind of midnight snack. A, all right, this a next one. First of all, they have to be in a Michigan location. Why is that? Because of the grape flavor is Fago. I don't know if Fago's national. I don't see it like when I'm in other states. Yeah, I don't think well i don't know icp might, might but when i saw this i didn't get the boner everyone got because i was like oh, okay it probably just tastes like your regular what, blue raspberry what flavor. are you talking about this crunch berries this, slurpee see this is i thought this was a, a blog about cereal this guy's reviewing the slurpee machine it's, it's the <laughs> top five it's cerealistly's top five new cereal products of 2018 so this okay so this Qualifies as a cereal so product. Cap because Crunch getting into Slurpee game. Right. He's not reviewing the blue raspberries. He's reviewing the mm-hmm. Captain Crunch. A Captain Crunch Slurpee. Now, here's the thing. Part of what's really good about Captain Crunch is the buttery flavor of it. And I don't want a buttery flavor to my Slurpee. Hey, it sounds like a divisive beverage. It says, doubtlessly, my most controversial inclusion on the list, the Captain Cereal adjacent slush made my head... Made many headlines for its outlandish concept. Syrup dice flavored like cereal and milk. That's exponentially unnatural. It's, a, it's supposed to taste like milk, too. Like that's, oh. it's a, it's, it's, and its diverse reception. Some, like me, lauded it for its almost flawless, for almost flawlessly recreating the taste of Captain Crunch Berry cereal, while others oh, saw the beverage as so abhorrent that its mere existence sickeningly surpassed witchcraft millennia of hysteria provo- provocation. If it tastes exactly like having a bowl of cereal, then I'm not interested in it. <laughs> what is with the desire to replicate the, the entire taste and experience just in a different form? Don't you just really want a bowl of cereal? Or is it that you want you really want a bowl of cereal, but you're on the road and it's 2 a.m.? <clears throat> right. This next one, I, I, like, I like where their head's at. Malto meal and Cold Stone Creamery. Our strawberry blonde cereal. What is? I'm not even sure how to dissect that. It's not even a picture of a box. I mean, it looks decent, but it's maybe this is a act- box shit. Maybe this is like preview cereal. Like when people get a screener, the screener cereal. This the guy at Cerealistly have a hookup. So, uh, so Malta Meal and Cold Stone Creamery got together and made a cereal called Our Strawberry Blonde. This sounds like some expensive shit. This is so No, it's not. It's Malto Meal. Malto Meal is the shit in a bag. The trio of flakes, puffs, and marbits. Wait, so 
that was number two. Number one is also a multi meal double chocolate brownie crunch. Again, I like where their heads at. What's where's this multi meal shit coming from though? Like I didn't know anybody ate it. Oh, I guess post bottom. This guy sounds in the bag. I think he's being paid off by post. Multi meal post consumer brands. So they just were like It says this stuff is what retro count chocolate tasted like before General Mills shucked its budget, replacing the savory and dense oat flour with corn. Modern day count chocolate has a husk of its former self and the fudgy puffs of C B C may very well be his spherical soul. So this guy likes it because it tastes like old school count chocula. Oh really? Multiple meals going, hey, remember when before you fucked up Count Chocula? We're gonna make that. Uh, geez, there must be like thirty different flavors or more. Probably more. Are you on the multiple meal oh, website? Wait, it says multiple meal brands <laughs> cereals coming over thirty delicious varieties. Something for every taste bud in the family. But they show the packet that they show the, the package that it comes in and it looks like it's the shape of Pop Tarts. Like if you bought the single serving Pop Tarts in the uh in the bag. Mm-hmm. Weren't you saying, though, that it comes in a bag? Maybe yes. that's how they sell it. Correct. So that, who wants to buy their cereal in a bag anymore, though? Broke people. Yeah, because <laughs> Malto Meal's known for making the knockoffs. <laughs> Look, true. Apple Zings, Berry Colossal Crunch. Uh, berry Colossal Crunch. Do they have Oops, All Berry Colossal Crunch? <laughs> no. Blueberry Mini Spooners, Double Chocolate Brownie Crunch, Chocolate Marshmallow Mateys. Mateys. Mateys? Coco Roos. Cinnamon toasters. Corn bursts. Yeah. Chocolatey chip cookie bites. But they have just... Cocoa dino bites. Oh, wait a minute. Corn flakes. Hey, frosted flakes. Yeah, why is the corn flakes and frosted French flakes... toasters. Some of these are being rebranded under the multi meal name then. These are post-cereal. Well, I don't think... Like, no, wait a minute. Corn is a thing and flakes are a thing. I think it's tricky with that. That's right. Frosted flakes is Kellogg. Yes. So they don't own the name Frosted Flakes. I don't think you can. Mm-hmm. Or the the pet or the uh, the copyright is up on it. It True. could be crispy rice, Frosted Mini Spooners, Fruity there's Dino a, Bites. There's actually a lot of different uh, pieces of art, uh, music, and, and novels well, and stuff like that that are, puffs. that are coming into the public domain now. Honey buzzers, Golden Honey O's. And when did like it was about turn of the Multimil, century you when like a free like. Five minute commercial, by the way. What wasn't it like at around the turn of the century when people started eating cereal? Because it was uh, initially used by patients at the sanitarium. This shit was for crazy people. Right? When first, yeah, cereal showed up late eighteen hundreds. They were like, we need to make sure that they get plenty of dairy and grains, but we can't give them any real silverware or glasses because they just yeah. try and kill each other. The Weedsman Podcast. ChristopherMedia.net. Hey, it's your home, and I need to ask you a few favors. In the kitchen, there's a spider stuck between the window and the screen, and I know it's dead, and technically it's outside, but it's still freaking me out. Can you flick it out or something? Also, just to save some money and it's super easy, could you bundle your home and car insurance with Geico? Last thing, could you take the holiday decorations down? Yeah, I'm one of those. Geico. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com today. A different future starts with you. That's why GoDaddy does more than help you find a name. You can create, sell, and get found online so any small business can drive change or build an empire. We need a new generation of thinking. Your way of thinking. Start different at GoDaddy.com. ChristopherMedia.net. If you like this show, please tell a friend. Please make sure to rate and comment on all your favorite Christopher Media shows. Please follow us on Twitter and like and share us on Facebook. You can subscribe to all ChristopherMedia.net shows for free on ChristopherMedia.net. Thank you for listening, and thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net.